pack ammunition. Admiral Eva Lawson was groggy as she was helped from the floor of CIC by her new XO Major Stanley, wheelchair, Jacobs. He had a cut over his right eye, the blood was smudged. What the frack happened? She asked as she gripped the table. The combat information center was mostly dark, having suffered a complete power failure. There were several pitches of whirring sounds as computer hardware struggled to boot up. There was no alert klaxon, no Dratus scanning noise. Monitors were showing scrambled output, nothing seemed to be working. Finally the damage control station came online. It was unsteady, flickering every couple of seconds. There looked to be armor damage in several places, but no major breach. The FTL status screen came online next. All three FTL field actuators were showing red. Whatever was happening it would require some repairs before they would be able to jump out of danger. There was a roar echoing through the ship. The artificial gravity system seemed be stressing out. Lawson felt as if her body were heavy. It reminded her of pulling G's in a Mark V Viper. She felt nauseous like after pulling 8 to 9 G's in a Viper or a simulator. I hit my head. I don't remember. Lawson shook her head. What do you remember wheelchair? We were attacking the trapped Cylon fleet. Something went wrong. We had a jump plotted. We got nuked. I think. All the equipment came back online. The monitors steadied up. The forward view camera showed a sun center screen, looming large. The alert klaxons came online. The noise was ear splitting. This was not the normal post jump conditions. We're going too fast. Situation report, Lawson demanded. Shaking her head, trying to get the fog out of her mind. We got struck by nukes just as we jumped, the officer of the deck reported. Major Jacobs was looking at several status screens. FTL took EMP shock while we were transitioning into the jump. Where the frack are we? We are in a totally different solar system than we planned our escape jump. It looks like we are moving. Why are we moving? We are not supposed to come out of FTL jumps at high speed. Navigation officer, situation report. We are headed straight into the sun wherever we ended up. We are at very high speed. Give me precise data. What is our speed? 0.9.89 of light speed. Heading? Straight into the sun. Estimated impact in 180 seconds. Frack me. Can we use maneuvering thrusters to avoid the impact? Negative. We will have to turn around and use full slower than light drive. We have Solaria and Saturn right behind us. They got hit too. Can we FTL out of here to avoid a collision? EMP Pulse took out our FTL drives. Engineering is reporting 4 hour minimum to make the repairs. Solaria thinks it will take them 48 hours. 140 seconds to impact. All ships report ready for the combat jump. Vipers and strike craft are in the launch tubes. This is the Admiral. Good hunting. Execute combat jump. Contact. Four base stars, raiders are launching. They are not in an intercept formation. They are going to attack. Launch the entire air wing. All batteries check your ammo type and engagement zones against the printed plan. This is the EXO to fleet. Battle plan phase one, nuclear firing keys in, setting coal. This is Playboy, commander of the air group. This is a complex hunting party. However, we have been practicing for weeks in the VR simulator. Hunters prioritize nukes, then missiles. Knights go after the enemy raiders. Nuggets stay with your wingmates. Sir, yes, sir. So, so say, say we all. all. Say we all. This is Mercury XO, flak left, all batteries flak left. 400 vampires inbound. Hammer 
trackers so they can't get back up. Radiological alarm, three inbound nukes, one from each Phobos. Looks like cluster munitions. This is Playboy Tiger Team engage the missiles. Nukes are a priority. Remain clear of the Battlestar engagement zones. Come on, come on, come on. Tiger Team engaging. Nuke heading for the Valkyrie squadron. Mercury XO to Valkyrie's immediate flak starboard batteries, flak right now now. This is Mercury Actual. Go hot with nukes. Nuclear weapons are authorized as per the printed battle plan. are trying to take out the Oslo. Three base stars are hit by nukes. More tracking. Heavy battle stars taking hits bottom side. Engineering section. Oslo is in trouble.
Valkyrie class Oslo is authorized to jump. This is CIC Mercury to Oslo jump now. The Battlestar Oslo reports she's got her nuke fired. Reports failed FTL nav fix, jammed by our own signal. Admiral Lawson grabbed the fleet broadcast handset, pressed the talk signal and shouted into the microphone. Oslo do not wait, jump blind, jump blind. We lost the Oslo, sir. Use recent recon data. Make God's damn sure every warship can conduct an emergency jump. Stan, should we stop our FTL jamming? We can't, sir. Remember we sent the Orions out so they could stay stealthy, and the Cylons can't hack us to do escape jumps or worse yet call in reinforcements. Whose brilliant plan was that? HT, sir. Admiral Lawson looked pale steadying herself with one hand on the edge of the CIC table. Major Jacobs whom everyone knew slept in the Admiral's quarters grasped her by the arm. Then he started issuing orders. The assumption was she was stricken by the unnecessary loss of the Battlestar Oslo. In the past, losing people had often made her sick. Recall all birds begin jump prep. Launch the SAR to pick up ejected pilots. Signal the Orions in the clear. Descend from the hilltop. Stop FTL navigation jam. We have no comms with the two Orions. No FDL navigation possible. Sir, new contact. Contact for Cylon Base Stars, point blank range. Launching Raiders. This is Mercury Actual. Combat landings. All birds on the deck. Prepare for an emergency jump. We are surrounded by the massive asteroid field that we counted on to keep the Cylons here. It's going to take at least 15 minutes at full burn STL engines to be certain of a safe jump. Let's get started. Full burn STL engines. Posture defensive. Flag get ready. Radiological alarm is constant. They have a pile of nukes. This is Mercury. Actual. To any cutoff birds that are still flying, find the Orions. If they're not responsive, blow them out of the sky. Alarm, launching raiders and vampires. The Viper and Raptor pilots knew this was a suicide mission. They were, however, prepared to give their lives to enable the escape of the most powerful fleet. The commander of the Mercury Air Group, Callsign Playboy, formed up a ragtag collection of planes. 
For operational security, they did not know where the Orions were deployed. He was hit by an idea while glancing at his DRADIS display. Here's what we're going to do people. We're going to fight our way to where the toasters are. On me. So say we all. So, so say we all. Major King, Solaria's XO pulled a part of a navigation off of Commander Modi. She coughed, brushed herself off and looked up at the dead displays. There was a lot of noise echoing from other parts of the ships. Several fires were being fought with handheld gear, the damage control display flickered to life. Citrip. As you see, we have both flight paths extended. There appears to be fires in both of the ponds. Without communications I can't tell you if the firefighters and damage control parties are winning or losing. I guess a fuel line gets breached and we blow up will have our answer. I see hull breaches at the starboard bow, venting atmosphere. I'm not certain which compartments we would need to blow to contain the fire. Comms, give me an ETA on when we get back online. Looks like everything is booting up at Jupiter class speeds. Alright looks like we did the FTL jump while a nuclear EMP wave was blasting through the ship. Telescope imagery has us flying in formation with the Saturn and Mercury. Something is wrong. I can't see anything. We came out of the jump a very high speed. Must be the AMP that took out the FTL systems. We are moving at near light speed. Navigation came back up. The course plot showed three battle stars on a collision course with the sun of this solar system. That's pretty ugly. We could fix it with another FTL jump. So begin jump prep. FTL drive took damage. Even if we had the parts we need in inventory, we would need two days to fix the jump drives. Well, Frack US, we are flying straight into the sun of this system. I can guess the ETA is much sooner. Send a situation report to the flagship. Contact two base stars, point blank range, launching raiders and nukes. Nuclear strike topside. Contact, four more base stars jumped in, really close. Concentrate main batteries on the nearest base star. What the frack is happening with the autoloaders? Gun crews, Solaria is maintaining a higher firing rate. This is actual. Gun crews maintain firing rate.
This is Modi to Ben Cruz. Keep up the good work. This is the ExoHelm, hard to port. Raiders are hitting us hard. The pilots want to launch. That would be suicide Stan. Hell, this is Modi. Nice, smooth turn. Valkyries under fire.
squirmed and extricated herself from some debris in CIC. There were a couple of small fires in the CIC. She was not certain she remembered exactly what had happened the last few minutes. As she pulled herself from the deck, broken glass crunched under her feet. The lighting flickered and monitors sprung to life. She looked up and saw damage control, navigation and several subsystems. Mm, got me a Fire control down. Acknowledged. FTL down. No repair estimate. What about the hull breaches and damage control? We have lost communication to the port flight pod. Several hull breaches and fires. We have structural integrity. Commander Ramirez looked up at the navigation screen. The display flickered and a shaky image steadied. It showed three battle stars on a collision course with the sun in this solar system. Navigation. What is our current speed? Speed point 98C. Lee, we're headed into the sun near light speed. Give me options on how to slow us down without FTL. XO, we are outside our own FTL navigation jamming field. We have navigational fix on all three heavy battle stars. The jump keys are in and the drives are spooled. Valkyries? Destroyed, sir. Playboy? Too far away, sir. We can send back Recon Raptors when things cool down. They know what to do. This is Mercury Actual. Confirm coordinates and start the final jump countdown. Ten seconds to jump. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Jump. Ninety seconds to impact. 